Hi everyone, welcome back to my Chalice Step Campus. This is a part two of process MCQs. In part one, we have seen some question related to Agile. In this video, we are going to see some videos related to Rio. As we all know, process is coming in two part. First part is Agile, and then second part is Rio. So we will see some important questions related to uh, Rio as well. Again, again, I am saying might be like. you won't get any questions from this channel into your main exam okay just for giving practice purpose okay just for your practice purpose i am just creating this video so that you can analyze the questions uh, level okay and then you can uh, appear in the ma uh, main process itself okay so might be some question will match might some will not match so don't rely on this single video if you are getting more resources in a google then please go and watch all the videos okay so let's get started guys so first question is like what are some of the most popular tool and technique to improve the time management okay so if you are getting this question so you have to tick pareto analysis urgent important metrics and activity log so these three is a mo most popular tool and technique to improve the time management okay now doing goal setting on the last day before g speed freezes this fall in which quadrant of the urgent important metrics first of all urgent important metrics consist of four quadrant you can see here as well right so we will see uh, one detailed video on this topic as well okay i will create one videos in this one like uh, if you see here so there are four quadrant okay and the first quadrant is mandatory okay so we will uh, keep those a uh, task in the first quadrant which is which is going to be a mandatory so if you read this one doing setting goals on the last day so this is a very mandatory task right so it will fall inside the quadrant 1 okay and what will fall in quadrant 2 3 and 4 we will discuss in another video okay as of now just remember quadrant 1 means most urgent thing we will be keep in this quadrant so goal setting is on the last day is a very important part very important thing so it will fall in quadrant 1 okay now third question i am not a bully and not a dormant either i value my rights and that of other too my opinion matters so does uh, so does others even if they are not at the same okay the describe this style of communication see in this question what we are uh, like getting insight now it is talking about the behavior in which okay i value my rights mean the person is value their rights also as well as others opinion also okay so whenever you will see the win win situation win win situation means like opposite part or, uh, op, uh, or you can say like uh, uh, one person is thinking about other person apart from like uh, he is also thinking about himself okay so this type of situation is assertive okay aggressive it means like they are not considering the others opinion okay in passive uh, like uh, uh, you can say like they are getting okay like other opinion is also uh, we can say matters but they are not able to express their own uh, emotions so that is passive okay we will read this one uh, uh, also okay so because this is win win situation it means like uh, others opinions also matters and my opinions also matter so the answer will be assert assertive okay now assertive statement has four parts description of the situation expression of emotion experience as a result and description of what need to be done clear and precise so what is the fourth point the fourth point will be starting the positive or gain as the consequences of doing so because if you read all this thing so this won't be matching with this assertive statement okay so the answer will be one positive stress which motivate you to push yourself and do better is called you stress okay you stress means positive stress now uh, we have seen some uh, like we have seen one uh, question related to the assertive okay right now we will see how the passive look like see I don't think I am the right guy for this job. I mean, a different team look after this. Discussing really won't help. 
I would not be able to make you understand my point. It's better I agree and plan how I can do this extra work. In this scenario, if you see, so there is one person who know like he can't do this job. Okay, he is not a right guy to this job. Okay, some different team team can do this work. Okay, but he know like he can't able to express uh, express his emotion. So as I told you, in as a team. win win situation is there like uh, you can also express your emotion and you can understand the others opinion also but in passive you can't express your emotion only you can understand your uh, others opinion so this is the case of passive this is the answer okay now stress is not an illness it is a it is a state okay being assertive is the combination between being dash while still being uh, dash so assertive so wherever you are getting this assertive now just remember there will be a win win situation win win means right polite right tough you can see right and tough right is good but tough is not good right polite tough one is good one is not good so every time when win win situation is there means left and right is equal okay then it will be a assertive so here you can say right and polite both are consider of this assertive statement okay now stress can be managed better if you learn how to manage time right so this is the answer now in 1996 boeing understood the importance of a dash based organization so this is basically related to the scenario question so you can go with this team part okay team based organization the total is greater than sum of part this is what we call is synergy okay so whenever there is a, uh, there is some uh, we can say mathematical term if they are using in the statement and they are asking us to give the option then option it will be a synergy so totally greater like 1 plus 1 is greater than 2 i know like one is sound weird 1 plus 1 is not greater than 2 okay but yeah you can see this type of uh, uh, statement in the uh, uh, this type of assessment you, uh, uh, statement you can get okay so this is known as synergy what are the stages of effective reading so effective reading means scheme scheme means like you will uh, you will read uh, a sentence and you grasp that concept so that is scheme okay then second one uh, this is screwed times okay so it means like also like you are watching or you are reading uh, the description very carefully summarize like what is the outcome of that uh, point like uh, this is summarize so these three will be the option of effective reading selective is not a part of this uh, effective reading same goes with this one here also like they are asking uh, what is type of effective reading so same option will be there also now during a shift handover it is essential to pass on all the information clearly completely and correctly to the next team member each team member contribute to the team success and any miss can lead to team missing its sla sla is service level agreement so if you didn't hand over correctly so might be a chance like they will miss the sla so option will be sla okay now energies and uh, energies and low energy levels come at which stage of stress stress so it's a alarming uh, stage of stress so alarming means the first stage okay the first stage of stress is, is called alarming where we will feel this type of uh, uh, we can say uh, we will we will feel this type of uh, emotions okay in the first stage of stress or we can say alarm a stage now what is the first stage of stress so this is a alarm okay fight or flight either fight or flight this decision comes in which stage of stress so alarm so whenever you are getting this type of question related to the stress so multiple time we could see the option is alarm now as per the management guru stephen r convey example of clock and compass so clock signifies dash and compass signifies dash see like how i remember this question or we can say like how i am uh, symbolize clock and compass see clock clock is running every day okay the clock won't stop okay if we talk about the idle situation so clock won't stop it means it's a great efficiency so clock is uh, like symbolize efficiency 
and compass so compass where do we use compass so compass will be used to give us the direction okay so it will gives us the effectiveness okay it symbolize effectiveness okay now in your team two of your friend and coworker are in the disagreement and the conversation is slowly getting heated one of two one work on the same module as you while the other one is your roommate the decision is getting louder and both are very angry see wherever we are seeing this type of statement it's it's it seems like some uh, stress is uh, uh, like we can say we can say feel some stress right we can feel some stress here so you are getting okay anxious and uncomfortable as this is a tense situation so this is a tense situation so wherever we are getting this situation keyword so answer will be situation stress okay they are asking us like what kind of stress this is and this is a tense situation it means it is a situation stress so answer will be situation stress okay definitely like we will see this uh, this all term in some different video also okay where i will going to cover this part as well so that it will be easy for you all to grasp the concept of stress okay urgent important quadrant uh, which we have talked before right so we'll create now certification closing competency gap would fall under which quadrant see in this statement they are saying like the certification or competency gap we have to close but they are not saying like this is the last day or this is the uh, like only in one hour or two hour we have to come to this one so if this is not very urgent then it won't come into the quadrant one okay anything quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 will be the answer but if it is not coming is very urgent so quadrant 1 one won't be answer so here is the quadrant 2 we will discuss like why we have fall this question in the quadrant 2 okay with an example we will see in upcoming videos now and this is questions like uh, this is not required actually but uh, why i have given this one because this has been asked in uh, the fresco play also okay related to the uh, communication part okay effective communication part so like for example like you required urgent data to share with the client and need a team member to assist in gathering and delivering it promptly which of the following message is the right way to convey the message so you have to give some uh, data say, urgent data you have to share to the client okay so how you will uh, convey the message so like either you can go with this one either you can go this one but if you see this uh, option this will be uh, like if you see compare with this option so this option is very good why see hi tina i need the last month utilization tracker of each team member i need to send this to the client within next hour so here we are giving some urgency we are creating some urgency right so this will be a proper uh, uh, we can say option to send this mail to someone so that uh, we can get our output in the desirable time okay now same thing you can learn this one like i'm not going to read this one again and again because this is just basic for the effective communication part only okay how you will convey your message in a effective manner so if you read this one you definitely will get to know like this will be the right answer and this will be the right answer okay so you can pause here you can watch this one okay and then you can uh, come to this video so i hope this is clear to you guys okay so whatever the question i am getting i am just creating this video might uh, this will work but yeah if you search on the youtube so i have seen some different channel also related to this process so you can watch them as well okay so our main motto is to clear the process from where you are reading uh, that is not a, a big deal okay so you can create this some question from uh, it's a, a, from the state campus channel also and you can get some question from the different youtube channel also not an issue okay so i hope this is clear so yeah we'll see you in the next lecture guys thank you bye bye